In this session, we're going to learn how to add text boxes. I'm going to continue sharing my screen for the same family we've had in the first few sessions. Connect a family, we use text boxes quite a bit. You will learn more about how and when and the color coding system in model training. But for right now, I just want to show you how to add a text box. If you go up here to the toolbar, you can select these A's. This one without any border around it, it says new text label. If you left click, then it just shows this text label and you can choose a spot and left click again. A shortcut is just hitting the L key outside of any person on the genogram. So I'm going to double click on this text label. And you can type in anything here you want. Uh, for notes, uh, let's say I, I called Darla today. Uh, I would put a date in. And uh, a narrative about the conversation. Again, you'll learn more about that in model training. But we have all of these display options down here as well. Let's say that the conversation went really well and Darla definitely wants to be involved as a support. I'm going to go to border color. I'm going to choose green. And there we have a text box. Again, there would be a paragraph in here in a real family, but you can take this and just like anything else, manipulate it and move it around. Right now, we're going to leave it next to Darla. And we're also going to add a little arrow. I'm going to I'm going to left click, lay it on, shorten it. I'm going to double click on the arrow. I'm going to also make it green. We do not necessarily have to use arrows, but if you identify an average of 150 relatives per family tree and you attempt to make contact with, say, half of them, that's 75 text boxes. <laughs> it can get quite cluttered. So moving them around and adding arrows can be very helpful. That is the last part of session number six. Thank you again for watching.